one of the main cause is tribalism, nepotism, and other forms. But mostly in Africa, tribal sentiments is the main cause of conflict in Africa. In Rwanda, within three months, within a span of three months, over 800,000 lives were perished. Those were the lives accounted for. Imagine those who died unaccounted for. And again, what was the cause of that war, civil war in, the, in Rwanda? It's tribal sentiment. Hutu, Tutsi. You ask yourself, what is the importance? Within 90 days, over 800,000 lives got perished. In Sierra Leone, even though it could perhaps be attributed to bad governance, but again, one of the underlying causes is tribal sentiments. In Liberia, tribal sentiment. In Cote d'Ivoire, tribal sentiment. The list would go on and on. Research were done, and they came to a conclusion. Most of the causes of conflict in Africa is as a result of tribal sentiment. Drawing that into the Gambia context, relationships are so interwoven. Our relationships are so interwoven. Why should we, as Gambians, allow tribal sentiment to creep into the fabric of this fine institution, or fine nation? Let me but be very clear. No individual tribe stands to win if there is a conflict. All of us would be a loser. I'm talking out of the experience, either directly or indirectly. Everybody is going to be a loser. There's, going to, there's nobody would emerge as a winner. Nobody would emerge as a winner. Virtually everyone is going to be a loser, directly or indirectly. So we have a choice to make. Gambia, by the very size of Gambia, by the very nature of Gambia, we're all interrelated, directly or indirectly. Two intermarriages. So then, let's ask ourselves this question. What is the rationale to advance tribal sentiment? What do we gain out of that? Let me ask you this question. You are the peace ambassadors. Let's give peace this time. Politics should not divide us. Tribal sentiment should not be encouraged, but rather should be condemned. They're all peace-loving Gambians. That's my strong message I want to share with you. Well, uh, sir, you as the CDS of the Gambian as you know, no, and I mean as an institution, what are you doing to make sure that you cope you know, tribalism in the country? If you look at it, I've been going around the country. I've engaged my troops. The essence of my trip is to see the working and living conditions of troops under my command. Equally use that moment, perhaps, to put across or use the platform to share with them my perspective as to what I expect from each and every one of them. And the perspective is such a wide perspective. How do we reorganize and restructure the armed forces? And what individually and collectively we can play to advance that agenda as a team. Was in my strong view, it's a teamwork. I may have the vision, I may have all the plans, but again, it requires consultative efforts and synergy of